Hey y'all, I'm super excited because I just released a book to Kindle. Um, so volume one of Rock the Registry is out and um, I've got some great stuff to tell you about it. Uh, but again, if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe these videos. I want to look at just a couple of questions that I've included in the textbook and stick around till the end. It's a short video, but there's some free stuff. So I just want to spend some time thinking critically about the questions that I've got here in the textbook. This first one looks at what protective equipment must be employed when examining a patient with active tuberculosis? And the answer is an N95 mask. Um, and so the reason for that is because this is a uh, something that can be sp spread as an airborne precaution. Um, so surgical mask isn't going to cut it. We're not so worried about eye shield because it's not so much a droplet thing. And the surgical cap, again, is not going to do much in terms of preventing this stuff from entering our airstream. So N95 mask. And, and in addition, we should include some disposable gown gloves and uh, some kind of, or possibly an airway purifying respirator. This next question is asking, when evaluating the primary x-ray beam, which of the following statements best describes the result of any interaction that increases photon wavelength? And the answers are increased velocity, decreased filtration, increased quality, or decreased frequency. So let's reason through the possible answers. First off, all um, Photons have the same velocity, that's why it's a constant, the speed of light, um, meters per second squared. Um, decreased filtration doesn't necessarily tell us anything about a photon wavelength. Um, it, with an increased photon wavelength, we would expect filtration to stop it. So uh, decreased filtration would actually increase um, the amount of photons that have an increased wavelength. And again, these photons that have an increased wavelength, we're talking about ones that have fairly low energy versus something that has a high frequency wavelength or a short wavelength, it would have a high energy. Um, increased quality definitely does not describe things with an increased wavelength because again, uh, the increased quality would have a shortened wavelength and finally decreased frequency. So the correct answer is D. Um, so. Again, uh, this is going to transfer to PowerPoint. We've got this should be a power 10 to the eighth meters per second squared. Um, but frequency and wavelength, of course, are inversely related. Okay, so the book is out on Amazon right now. It is free until noon this Wednesday, noon Pacific this Wednesday. So run over to Amazon, grab your free copy right now. Of course, it'll be on sale for some after Wednesday. Tell all your friends, let them know. Please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'll be having more deals that will come out uh, as we go along. And also, I'll be continuing to lease, release videos like this one where I talk about ways to prepare for the registry and the kinds of critical thinking that's required for this exam. Thank you so much.